what do your eighth house planets say about you in this video we are answering that question and talking about the eighth house of your natal chart and how it manifests when you have certain planets sitting in that house and this video is a part of a series on my channel where we talk about the planets in the houses so i'll link down below that playlist but right now we're just talking about the eighth house planets and if you don't know your chart yet or what houses or planets you have then i will link the link down below and this can apply to your tropical chart or your whole sign chart or any chart that you look at it is relevant for and what exactly is the eighth house and what does it represent in your natal chart and in your life the eighth house represents hardship obstacles and how we overcome those things eighth house energy can be a bit turbulent or unpredictable in the sense that it can represent events in our life that tend to bring us down that seek to bring us down um, that seek to destroy us and conversely we can see with eighth house planets how we overcome those things how we destroy those things how do we um, overcome obstacles it's very similar to the eighth house or eighth house is similar to the sixth house in that sense where we see obstacles and conflict and kind of like how we overcome those things with the planets we have sitting in the eighth house and eighth house also deals with the theme of transformation but it's more so the events that cause that transformation so the events that really test our faith the events that really kind of change us as a person we can see with eighth house energy and just to give you an idea usually with eighth house transits or energy events that usually happen are like death birth divorce things that really dramatically change your life um so how you deal with those things those hardships of life is really seen with eighth house planets and ultimately the eighth house represents obstacles blockages and whether or not you experience a lot of those things in your life we can see with eighth house how you overcome those things if you can overcome them or if you feel overwhelmed by them we can see with your eighth house planets and for this video i'm just doing the sun through the south node timestamps so if you have the outer planets in your eighth house like if you have pluto neptune uranus watch the south node timestamp for pluto and neptune and then for uranus if you, if you have uranus in the eighth watch the north node timestamp so you might be able to resonate that way it's just that the outer planets work a little bit differently for this series but you guys can watch the kind of correlating timestamps with those planets if you have your sun sitting in the eighth house with this placement you can be someone who does have a strong sense of fortitude when overcoming obstacles eighth house like we talked about is this theme of hardships obstacles things in life that bring us down so you can spend your life kind of dealing with those things but kind of learning how to overcome them sun sitting in this house can be strong in the sense that sun is a masculine planet it's a fiery planet so you want a strong masculine force to deal with harshness so you do have that working for you with sun in the eighth if your sun is strong especially like in a fire sign um but i think fortitude is strong with this placement and also having a strong spirit a strong sense of um like your soul is strong like your sense of resilience is strong with this placement you can also be someone who does have a lot of strength when overcoming harshness which is naturally a trait that the sun does have so it is relevant here in the eighth house and a bonus note you can be someone who is very charismatic magnetic someone who is um sexy even i don't want to get demonetized but someone who is very magnetic magnetism is strong with uh eighth house sun if you have your moon sitting in the eighth house with this placement it is one where you might feel overwhelmed by obstacles or hardships oftentimes with eighth house it is kind of like this harsh house where you do experience hardships and so moon is more of a softer planet so it's easy for lunar energy to be overwhelmed by eighth house energy so what this means for you is that you can feel overwhelmed by harshness a lot of the time um, especially in your childhood you could have felt that there was like a lot of turbulence or uh, challenging situations around you um, transformation things like that could have experienced could have been experienced by you in childhood especially um, from an early age and this can cause this feeling for you of fear this feeling of anxiety stress paranoia can be very strong with moon in the eighth house and the brighter side of this placement is intuition you can be someone who is very intuitive you can pick up on things 
it is a really strong placement for someone who is like research oriented someone who's good at finding things out you have a very uh investigative mind and you can really pick up on things intuitively psychically even that is one aspect of this placement and over time you might find that your mental strength is sharpened or uh, your mental fortitude is strengthened against hardship so even though you kind of might experience a little bit of harshness especially in the beginning part of your life in your childhood um, it gets better with time with this placement if your mercury is sitting in your eighth house you can find with this placement that you're someone who does have a very investigative mind you can be someone who is very keen on research I can imagine you being someone who can almost like find anything out or get any secret out of anyone um, you can really pull information from really taboo or dark places and have this really great ability to investigate and be research oriented now when it comes to dealing with hardships in life and dealing with obstacles um, you might experience those things but you might have a really strong ability to navigate your way out of those situations with a sense of mental dexterity this can be a placement of someone who can be very mentally strategic and with this placement I can almost imagine this being a placement of someone who can be great at chess for example great at any sort of strategic mental game I feel like you're really great at those things um, because mercury kind of prompts you to use your mind your intellect to overcome harshness or obstacles so that can be a strength of yours is overcoming obstacles or experiencing them but um, overcoming them through your mental dexterity or through mental strategy and the last thing I will say with this placement is intuition you can be very intuitive someone who kind of speaks things into existence maybe you like finish people's sentences or there's kind of like a psychic element with this placement not always but especially if it's in a water sign that can happen but generally I feel like intuition is strong with mercury in the eighth as well and if your venus is sitting in the eighth house you can find this placement that when it comes to harshness harsh experiences hardship in general um you might feel overwhelmed by these things at times venus is a planet that is very diplomatic it's very agreeable so you can be someone who kind of behaves that way in harsh um experiences or when you're faced with hardship you might want to be more diplomatic you might want to be someone who helps other people or is of service maybe you don't face hardship in a very uh, direct way or in a way that is very forceful but you feel a little bit more passive to things like that and it can be a placement where you do feel overwhelmed by hardship sometimes and another key thing i've noticed with venus in the eighth is a boundary crossing and having people cross your boundaries having kind of issues pop up because of uh relationships so the transformational hardships that you might experience can come through people crossing your boundaries or through relationships or this kind of theme of boundary setting issues is strong with Venus in the 8th and that can be an issue where you find it hard to set boundaries, maintain them, or just have people cross them in general. So it does depend on the planet or planets you have in this house or sign you have Venus in, but that can be a theme here. But one of the key things we can see with the 8th house Venus is inheritance and gaining money through other people gaining money through settlement checks through uh, lawsuit settlements things like that you can gain money through those things and even more so than other people with venus being in the eighth if your mars is sitting in the eighth house you can find with this placement that when it comes to dealing with harsh transformational experiences or hardship in general that you do have a very courageous face when dealing with those things Mars here can be somewhat of a strong placement since Mars does represent fighting. It represents conflict and having that ability to fight, having that ability to face conflict. Um, so you could be someone who does face conflict or hardships in a very direct way, blunt way, in a way that is like combative, like you're ready to face it, you're ready to handle it, you're ready for that harshness because Mars is a harsh planet. Being in a kind of harsh house like the 8th house can give you that sense of courage. And it can give you healing abilities. You can be someone who's keen on psychology or astrology. Someone who can help or heal other people. That sense of bravery does help you when it comes to you helping people as well. And if you have your Jupiter sitting in your 8th house, with this placement, you're somebody who might have a lot of faith. 
And this goes back to the first timestamp about the eighth house represents situations in our life that can test our faith, that can kind of bring us to the brink of hopelessness or despair, those really tough transformational experiences in our life. And so with you, you might be gifted with the sense of optimism, having faith in the darkest situations, having faith when everything seems really bleak or dark. Um, you can have that strong sense of optimism even in darkness. And so this can also create this very compassionate energy with you where you are compassionate with people, you want to help people, be generous. Uh, you can be someone who has a lot of psychic knowledge where esoteric spiritual knowledge just comes to you easily. You can be a channel for those sense of those or you can be a channel for that information, retrograde guys. Um, but psychic knowledge can be strong with you you can have psychic abilities or just be kind of like this storehouse of knowledge and just pull from it whenever you really need to in a very intuitive way and so this can lead you also to help others guide others with this knowledge that you have um heal other people and it can kind of be almost like a gift for you jupiter does gift us with things so this can be a strong gift for you and helping people can also be a gift that you have with jupiter in the eighth house if you have Saturn sitting in your 8th house, you can find with this placement that hardship and harsh experiences are pronounced in your life. And why is that? It's because we're talking about Saturn. And Saturn tends to bring lifelong lessons. So a lot of your lifelong lessons can be challenging and can test your faith quite a bit. But what ends up happening with this placement is that you can become someone who's very resilient, someone who can face really harsh things in life but overcome it and maybe you don't overcome it quickly but overcome it in a way that is very responsible practical you become almost very stone-faced in this in the um event where you are faced with tough things and this placement can ultimately give you an unshakable determination when overcoming obstacles overcoming hardships you can really um, be someone who's not to mess with when it comes to dealing with hardships because you can overcome it, be resilient, um, overcome it in a very strong, practical, strategic way. And that's only after you kind of mastered those harsh lessons in the beginning part of your life. And then eventually you become this really strong person with Saturn being in your eighth house. If you have the North Node, aka Rahu, sitting in your eighth house with this placement, one of your lifelong lessons can have to deal with overcoming obstacles, overcoming hardships, um, really figuring out a way to break down barriers, break down boundaries. You can be someone where your life kind of revolves around this theme of stagnation versus transformation, having very stagnant periods in your life and then trying to then trying to figure out how to get out of them or having some sort of catalyst transform you out of them. So that's going to be a lifelong theme with Rahu and especially catch you in your second, Rahu in your eighth. Um, but generally, just for the sake of this video, Rahu in the eighth can create this ability to be very strategic when it comes to overcoming obstacles or hardships. Um, it's like you experience them in a very abrupt, unexpected way, but then you have to think quickly on your feet on how to get out of it. So that's going to be a lifelong theme here with Rahu in the 8th and turbulence and unexpected events can be really strong throughout your life with North Node aka Rahu here. Um, this can also give an obsession with the occult or you have this obsession or really keen interest on taboo topics, occult topics, um, and even you can have the most transformational experiences and they can be tied to the occult in some way or tied to astrology or Whatever kind of uh, maybe occult science you're obsessed with, you can find that it transforms you in some way. So transformation, overcoming obstacles can be tied to occult sciences that you do find yourself really keenly researching. And speaking of research, research can also be a strong skill of yours where you're really research-oriented, research investigative, someone who's really curious in general. Um, and overall, that theme of occult is strong with Rahu in the 8th as well. And if you have the South Node, aka Ketu, sitting in your 8th house, you can find at this placement that you're someone who has very strong psychic experiences. Maybe you have experiences that are just really unexplainable, that really transform you in some way. It's almost something that it's not really tangible or even something you can't articulate. 
And it might be because it's a karmic experience or a karmic past life thing that you're dealing with now. There's that theme of karma really strong with the nodes. And so having the south node in your eighth house can present a lot of karmic situations for you and karmic hardships that you kind of learn how to overcome. Or you almost have this very intuitive inclination when overcoming hardships. So if you experience something harsh in your life, it might be almost like a karmic harsh experience so you kind of know how to overcome it because you have that kind of past life uh experience dealing with that thing and speaking of uh karmic experiences you might also have very strong psychic abilities or have strong intuition where it's like you almost feel things before they happen and because of that you know how to overcome things before they happen so that can be kind of like a strength here where it's like you have that almost sixth sense of things and then you can overcome things before they happen um, or even predict them before they happen and there's this very like witchy occulty sort of theme with the uh, south node ketsu in your eighth house so you can be someone who's interested in occultism or healing or just have very strong intuition in general or be very keen on occult sciences in general <laughs> 